Hey everyone, here we have an example asking us to simplify. We have a product of two fractions, so really we have a combination of multiplication and division. Another big theme in this particular example is the property of exponents. So one thing we want to remember is that when you have multiply, and it's just multiplication and division involved like this, fractions, no adding or subtracting. Multiply, I mean, later you'll see the adding or subtracting could happen inside of parentheses, but not between terms. Multiply is just like a jumbo simplify. So really, if we're gonna do a problem like this, you could really just draw out one big fraction bar, and then the top, I'm just gonna do this example for anyone who needs it, a full breakdown. So it's nine, b squared is really b times b times a cubed, which is a times a times a times c, which is really c to the first, over a times c times three times b times b. Do I need all those dots in between each part? No, that's absolutely not necessary. You could just write them out. But for now, you know, we put them there. Now, anything divided by itself is one, so if I look over here, I have an A divided by an A, that's really one, so I don't need to write it. I have a B divided by a B right there. I have another B divided by a B right there. I have a C divided by a C right there. I have nine divided by three, or reduces to three and one. So what's left behind? I'm left with three times A times A over one, also known as 3a squared. So that's one way to do it, kind of foolproof that way. Another way to do it is, let's go from here. Right away, I would reduce the nine and the three. They could be, as long as one's in the numerator, one's in the denominator, they could be right above each other. They could be, it doesn't matter, it could be diagonal. What else can we do? Well, you have a full b squared over b squared. If b squared's crossed out, even if you have another b squared here, it can only reduce with one of them in, in this situation. When we have the adding between things on top and we do the pretzel, that's different. You have adding on top. You need to pay attention to the things that make things different as well as the things that make things the same. That's why we like to compare and contrast. All right, the C. Both of these Cs, some of you may benefit from writing it out as c to the first, but in either case, c over c is one. Now, oh, and I reduced the nine and the three, and that should have become, like we said earlier, a three and a one, but a one on bottom isn't really necessary to write as much as a one on top would definitely be necessary. But let's look at what we got so far. We have three, a to the third, over one a, Again, that one's not necessary. Now, the a on bottom is to the first power. What do you do with your exponents as long as they're all positive? What do you do with your exponents when you have them in a numerator and a denominator when you're, as we say, dividing like bases? Well, and again, I don't, I don't need that. We subtract your exponents, so it becomes 3a, and now the power that's left behind is really 3 minus 1, and what is 3a? Um, minus one, it's gonna be three a squared. So we get the same exact answer either way. So which one are you more comfortable with? Are you more comfortable, like, look, guaranteed getting it right, I'm gonna map it all out like this, bing, bang, boom, cross things out, call it a day, or, you know, I'm comfortable with the rules. Doesn't matter, if you have extra time, do it both ways, make sure you get the same answer. Hope you're feeling smart, I hope you got it right. Thumbs up if you did, thumbs down if you are kind of anxious about having to answer questions like this because you think you messed them up. Let me know. Uh, click through for the next example. I think we have some factoring beginning. So I hope you're feeling good. All right, adios.